Football is just around the corner and the Cider Cyclones are fired up to get back out there and put on a show for their fans. And guess what? They'll have to bring their A game from the jump this season as they face some of the best in the state right off the rip. And all signs are pointing for a great season for the Cyclones. Season's been it went well this summer. We've had a better uh, turnout than what we've had in a lot of years. That was one thing that we had to try to build back. They came in and done a lot of work this year. So they've uh, had a good summer. It's not where I want it to be, but it's growing. So uh, the program's going in the right direction. Size up front eight man football is worth its weight in gold. And luckily for them, the Cyclones, they got plenty of it. Yeah, you know, we're pretty big up front. A couple years ago, we weren't that big. And you know, we're going into the season. Got young kids, but I think we can, you know, have a good season this year. Uh, I think we're looking pretty strong. Our line's looking bigger than usual, and we're all we've all been pretty healthy so far, so pretty blessed on that. And to no one's surprise, being one of the biggest teams in eight-man football really opens up the playbook for this coaching staff and presents a unique challenge to opposing teams. Something they hope to take advantage of underneath the Friday night lights. We we feel like we can be physical. Uh, and run the ball in between the tackles, and I know that's not traditional for eight-man football, but I, I think we can do that quite a bit. Uh, but we can spread a little bit, and, and we, we've got a uh, uh, Antonio Balderas. Uh, he should be our quarterback. He has a great touch with the throw, so uh, we're excited about what we can do this year on the offensive side. Switching sides of the ball now, the Cyclones are set up to be a serious problem, and for Snyder, the defense is turning all the heads in fall camp. We're excited about what our defense can do. We're, uh, we're big uh, in the interior. Uh, we've got a linebacker, Connor Carruthers, that'll come up and hit. Uh, and then uh, we're, we're, we're skillful on the outside. We can move around, so we're excited about what defense can do this year. Snyder has set a really high bar for themselves, and they will be tested early, playing the Class C and B state champs back to back to start this season. And the Cyclones, well, they need to be on the ball early. We'll do better than we have been doing in the past couple of years. I mean, we've kind of changed the program up quite a bit this past year. We've changed practice up a lot, so I think we'll do better than we usually do. Our goal is, is hefty. We're, we're, we want uh, to succeed and be very strong going into the postseason. That's what our expectations are. And so we've told our kids that our goal in them games is to uh, try to uh, come out and, and, and take care of business and, and see what we can do. Um, I hope we, we win state, but with young kids, you know, you, you never know. And hopefully we just, you know, exceed those expectations and we're good.